everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Saturday, everyone. This video is um, my most recent L3 hauls just combined. I got a couple at one time, it seems like. Actually, you know, I got one order and then I just didn't, I haven't been able to film this week. So I'm combining the one I got today. Um, I have something special in this that uh, if you watched um, L3 when Jen and Trish went live after dark a few weeks ago, uh, they talked about a new product. I have, um, they sent the three of us admins, Tam and Christy and myself, a, a, a B bar, and I'll show it to you when I get to it. So let's get started. L3, owned by Jennifer Westing of Junction, Junction City, Oregon. So I got, I'm on a, I'm on a low buy, no buy, but let's face it, it's a, it's a low buy because I can't not no buy. I, I love L3 too much. But um, I got a handful of these items and I'm trying to make smaller orders because I have a lot of wax. I'm using a lot. I'm, but I also, I want to get some of these fun blends. I mean, people are having customs all the time and, you know, they, they pour extras and put them in their ready to ships. And there's just some amazing and incredible blends. You all are incredible blend masters out there. So let's go ahead and get started. I opened up the box that I got earlier this week already, and then I just cracked open the box. I didn't get into it, the one I got out of the mailbox today. So let's get started. Okay. If you know me and you follow me, you know I love to blend and I have just been in love with Trig Tarts. And you know, that's the beauty, it's why Trig Tarts were designed, is so you can break off a small piece, excuse me, and really get creative with just blending anything together. And I am really, I'm really fond of them, and I really just seem to gravitate towards putting more and more in my cart and checking out with them and can't wait for them to get here because I have a lot of trig tarts I'm working on in my melting totes and just creating a lot of these fun blends. So the ones I grabbed this time, Dr. Peppermint. Now this is, there's a couple of mints in here. I can't remember which ones it is. Peppermint and Spearmint. Peppermint and Spearmint, I think. But this one here, love the color, by the way. I love pink. This Honestly, to me, my nose gets spearmint. So this, this is spearminty, but I also get a little bit of the freshness of the peppermint. This will be fun. I want to play around with this with melting some different herbal blends that I have, uh, I've thought of. I'm not going to talk about them yet because I don't know if they're going to work out or not, but I also want to mix it with laundry. I want to try, I want to try mint with laundry. I haven't had that before myself, so I want to give that a try. And second, I grabbed Earl Grey tea. I don't know if this is a new oil to them, but I love, I love Earl Grey tea in real life. I love the taste of it. I love the smell of it. I love tea. And there's bergamot that's mixed in Earl Grey tea, which makes it a little bit different from other teas you might have had. That's why Earl Grey has such a distinct flavor. This smells just like Earl Grey tea. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Next is orange chiffon cake. Now I can thank Christy Hartshorn, you know, the other admin in the group, for getting me really into orange blends. I don't have a lot of orange in my collection. Of all the wax I have, I don't have a lot of orange. I mean, I've, I've either melted through it or I just haven't bought it. But this orange chiffon cake is fantastic. I had another vendor it had an orange chiffon cake blend, and it really awakened the the love for orange again. And I've talked in the past, uh, in a couple of videos in the past, about how I love orange flavored stuff. I love orange, orange sherbet, orange jello, orange Kool Aid, orange candies. I loved orange sherbet bubblicious bubble gum when I was a kid. You know, the kind where the taste dies five seconds later. But I loved that, and this is good too. It's creamy. It's citrusy. It's got a little bit of cake. It's perfect. I love this orange chiffon cake. Next one I got, thank Christy again, is cherry chip cake. Now I know cherry scares a lot of you, but this one here, yes, it does have cherry to it, but it's got a little bit of buttercream frosting that I can pick up on and it has that cake. So it's not just straight cherry, but it is cherry nonetheless. So this I know that Christy used in a bunch of her customs. So this is, uh, has been poured and it's been recently, I haven't seen this poured in a while. So, 
and I haven't seen that poured in a while, but I, I've also, I've seen it blended with amaretto. I have cherry chip cake and amaretto, believe it or not, amaretto. Um, I love amaretto. I have a loaf of that somewhere in my collection of, from L3 that I bought last year. Um, but cherry chip cake is fantastic. I'm pretty sure they discontinued the actual cake mix because it's astronomical amount on Amazon. So we probably can't get it anymore unless some, you know, Betty Crocker or Pillsbury or some baking company revives cherry chip cake. But another one that is fantastic in cake is watermelon cake. And in this order that I got today, I grabbed another trig of watermelon cake because it is so good. It's not juicy and like eating a fresh piece of watermelon. It's got the creaminess to it from the cake. It's got the creaminess and the richness of the frosting. So for a single oil, this is incredible. I love watermelon cake. There were a few blends floating around on the site that had watermelon cake in there. I don't know if they're sold out or not, but um, those are my trigs that I got. Next, I got one. This is my first order. I didn't get into my second order yet. This is a blend that I've had my eye on for quite some time. This is Lego Tastic. So I saw this in a little in a little bitty bitty, which I love bitty bitties. Next to Bunts and Triggs, they're my favorite size. This is star fruit, mango, and mango sorbet. So lots of mango going on here. And I know this is popular, you know, especially with springtime coming up and summertime coming up. This is, you have to like mango. You have to like that, that type of scent. And I do get the creaminess of the sorbet from this one here. And the star fruit, I'm not quite sure what star fruit smells alone. I've never smelled it before. I can see it in my head, but I've never smelled it. So this one... That's a nice fruity blend. You could even blend this with other fruits. I mean, that would be really good too. Okay, I got one scoop of Dreamsicle, orange chiffon cake, orange sherbet, and zucchini bread. I love zucchini bread, and I've never had it mixed with orange, believe it or not. I have a trig tart of zucchini bread floating around somewhere here, and I have, you know, orange stuff now I can blend with. But this is creamy. You definitely get the orange, but it mixes so well with that creamy spiciness from the zucchini bread. This is a really fantastic blend. I'm going to put this in my tote to start melting now because I love zucchini bread so, so much. You'll even see more what I mean. Uh, <laughs> I got a couple of fluted tarts, pink frosted cake, vanilla ice cream, and cherry chip cake. I love pink frosted cake. You know I do if you watch me. And cherry chip cake in there and then vanilla ice cream. I mean, what more could you want in a blend? This. Oh, man. The cherry chip cake and the pink frosted cake are right there with each other neck and neck for dominant note. I honestly get the cherry chip cake a little bit more strong. It looks a little stronger than the pink frosted cake. But I'm not complaining because it's fantastic. Yummy, 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 yummy. And I grabbed this one, Solil Blanc and Ivory. One, because I love ivory blends, ivory soap. I love ivory blends. And two, this is a Tom Ford perfume cologne, Solil Blanc. So when I smelled this, I think this was somebody's custom. If I'm not mistaken, I think they pointed, I think they posted it in the group. This, it smells like ivory soap. And I'm not rich enough to purchase Tom Ford perfumes and colognes, you know, they're hundreds of dollars a bottle, but I, I don't know what Stelil Blanc smells like alone, but I know I would love, I wanted to try it. So I went for it and it's mixed with ivory and I'm getting almost a sunscreeny smell, but it's not anywhere near as strong as say Copper Tone or Hawaiian Tropic or any of those sunscreen oils that L3 has. They're very strong. This is just perfect. When I got this the other day and I sniffed it, it was just ivory soap to me, which I'm not complaining about. But now that this has had a chance to kind of sit a little bit longer, I'm getting a little bit more of the Solil Blanc. Once I start melting this, which frankly, I'll probably wait until the weather turns a warmer a little bit to get this going because it's a nice segue from winter into spring and summer. Okay. Now, <laughs> I, you heard that. 
it's coming up. Um, my little sticker I got in this order is it's never too late to be who you might have been, George Elliott. I love the stickers that we get here. I got a banana Laffy Taffy. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. Banana Laffy Taffy. I'll give that to Marty. He loves Laffy Taffies. You get a Spoonula Scoopula little contraption, you know, if with each order you get that has a scoop. Um, I got one clammy of one of my favorite coffee blends, Cafe Cubano, which I can say on my channel, it doesn't get triggered, Cafe Cubano Spiced Oat Milk. This is creamy, it's luxurious, it's got a little bit of spice to it, but not, not off-putting spice. It is a creamy coffee, it's not strong, it's not bitter, it's not skunky, like some people find coffee to be bitter or skunky. I don't, thank God, because I love coffee wax. This is so good. I had to grab another one of those. And then I, this definitely, this is Christy, this is Christy's um, custom. This is Snickers Latte, salted caramel, sugared shortbread, sugar milk, and zucchini bread. So this one's got a lot going on. And Trish has told us that the Snickers Latte oil keeps getting discontinued and it comes back, keeps getting discontinued and it comes back. So <laughs> uh, Snickers Latte is good. It is fantastic. This blend here, what it smells like, it smells like Snickers, but it's got that extra kick of caramel to it. And in the background, you get the creaminess of the zucchini bread. And I get a little bit of the, a little bit of the sweetness of the sugar milk. But since there's a lot going on in this guy, I'm going to wait and see how this performs on warm. But right off the bat, you can tell it's a Snickers blend. Okay, so... If you watched Jen and Trish's L3 After Dark Live a few weeks ago, they talked about a new product, the Bee Bars. And uh, Christy did a, a live in the group earlier this week where she showed her Bee Bar. Bee Bars are the new product that L3 has. And I just talked to Jen earlier today. The prices, let me show you first. These are the Bee Bars. And these are nice and thick. And they have little honeycomb, little bees, all cute, cutesy little things about the bees. Um, and they were so generous, and they sent Tam, Christy, and I a bee bar in our scent of choice. All three of us chose zucchini bread because zucchini bread, you can blend it, you can melt it alone. It's good all year. It's fantastic. So... You can, and these are, I'm not quite sure if they're going to be poured in select, in select scents or if it's from, um, you know, your choice of scent. I'm not sure about that. But per gen today, these are going to be $33 a bar, $33 a bar with $5 of each bar purchase going towards Save the Bees or the Bee Conservancy. The, I think it's beeconservancy.org is the website. Save the bees, basically. The weight of these, of uh, this bar, is one and a half to 1.75 pounds. And the color you see here is actually gold mica. I know that, you know, the reflection from the <laughs> sun's coming in here. But you can see the that color is actually gold mica. So $33 a bar with $5 of each bar going towards Save the Bees. So if you buy two bars, that's $10 to Save the Bees. And Miss Poppy, my cat, would like to tell you to Save the Bees. This is her, <laughs> one of her little toys. That's a bee and I thought, you know, how cute to throw it in here, Save the Bees. You know, I love that Jen uh, and Trish give towards charities. And last year they did, um, I can't remember what charity it was last year, but they did the multicolored loaf, uh, loaf in, I think, the, I don't remember what, what scent it was. But this is their choice of charity this year. So that's my first order. Next, let's get into this guy here. This isn't too big of an order, but, you know, I get weak in the knees when... <laughs> L3 is involved. My Laffy Taffy in this box is cherry, which I'll keep this one because I like the cherry ones. I got another scoop in here. So here's a blue spoonula. Very nice. Okay. And I'm going to save my first sample pack for last along with the one that I got here in this order. Okay. A lot of these scents here, honestly, I went on and I bought 
<laughs> after I watched Christy in the group, after she did, she did her live and she was talking about some of her customs. Uh, they were poured in puppy packs and a couple in bunts, I think. Maybe another another shape. But I had to go on and buy a couple because Christy and I have just about the same taste in a lot of our, our blends we prefer. So what have you. Okay, vanilla buttercream frosting watermelon cake. Now, funny thing about vanilla buttercream frosting, I had I have a trig of it that I got on its own because I have never smelled vanilla buttercream frosting on its own. I had it going last night and I melted it in the bathroom. I really wanted to see what is it like on its own because I know it can be a little fruity for some people. Um, my husband does not like it by itself. He likes it blended with something. So I quickly added something to, I actually added Christmas PJs, uh, the L3 blend, to the buttercream frosting last night, and it actually worked out really, really well. So Marty was happy that I blended it with something so his nose could be saved. But anyways, this buttercream frosting and watermelon cake. This, it smells so good. I honestly am just getting the watermelon cake. Um, I'm sure the frosting is there in there extra bump up of course but I'm already getting frosting from the from the trig tart I bought of the watermelon cake this is almost identical to that with a little bit of extra creaminess from the frosting so there's that next one this is a Christy custom this is pumpkin pecan waffles pecan pie zucchini bread maraschino cherry and sweet cream I know cherry scary but I had to get this I'm not afraid of cherry so I I got this because I think if I'm not mistaken, this is a blend that Jenny um, has, uh, she melts or she's created in her custom. And I think Christy just added the pecan pie portion to it, if I remember correctly. So this one smells, you get the maraschino cherry and I get the pumpkin pecan waffles, believe it or not. I've never had cherry and PPW before. It's, it's, real, it's really good here. I get the creaminess from the sweet cream. And just a bump of zucchini bread. It's This is a good one here. Next is pink frosted cake, watermelon cake, and cherry chip cake. This should be cake cubed because there's three cakes here. Um, some of my favorite cakes here. Let's see. This smells like all, man, all three of these cakes. The cherry chip cake, the watermelon cake, and the pink frosted cake. All three of those are so beautifully mixed in here. I can't tell one from the other. That is such a good, yummy bakery. It's a fruity bakery. Good. I got another Snickers, um, Snickers Latte blend just because I know that Snickers Latte might not be around for a while. I got one Sweetheart Red Bottoms. These are the Sweethearts, the new shape that they did for Valentine's Day. I got the one that has XOXO in there. Red Bottoms. Believe it or not, I've never had Red Bottoms. Yeah, man, is that good. Jet Puff Marshmallow, Zucchini Bread, Sugar Cookie Royale, Wildberry Mousse, and Raspberry. Raspberry, I know, can be perfumey to some people. But this in this blend here, honestly, I am getting the Wildberry Mousse and the Zucchini Bread. This is fantastic. This is going in my melt tote now because this is a credible blend. I'm going to have to get some more of that in the future. Okay, let's keep digging in the box here. Hope everyone is having a great Saturday. I wanted to, we went to the movies last night. We went to see um, Knock at the Cabin, the M. Night. I can never say his last name correctly. M. Night Shyamalan. I don't know if that's how you say it. Sorry, M. Knight. But my husband loves his movies, and we have to go on opening night. So <laughs> we went um, We went last night. And my opinion, it's not his best work, but it's not terrible. We'll leave it at that. Okay, I got everything out of my box. I got a second trig of watermelon cake. I told you about that already. Sea kelp. I have had my eye on this puppy for quite some time. Oh, is that good? It's, I'm, I love green. I love green and fresh and just that 
you know, you can throw it in and melt it when you don't know what you want to melt or when you need to just clean the air or when you're cleaning or when you need to chill out. You know, I like and I gravitate towards fresh scents when I'm feeling that. So the sea kelp here, it's not super duper aquatic and or, you know, oceanic, whatever you want to call it, but it is clean. It is green. I would, I would almost... Any blend that has salty sea air mixed in it, me, myself, I would substitute sea kelp for it because it just gives it something a little extra. I love salty sea air, don't get me wrong, but this is just a different type of clean, different type of green. Okay, Caribbean Escape, which I hope, 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 hope this is an exact dupe for the Bath and Body Works scent because it kind of is but it's missing something. Caribbean Escape, which I think it's retired from Bath and Body Works, was one of my favorite summertime scents of all time from Caribbean Escape. I used to have a candle in my candle collection. I have 300 or so candles, I think. I know, I'm working on them. Um, I don't think I have one more candle left. I used to, but I think I gave it to my mom. Pretty sure I did several years ago. But this, I'm glad I got this in a trig, so now I don't want to go crazy when it's time for customs again and use this. It's not bad. You know, it honestly, it's it smells fruity, a, a little tropical, but it's not an exact dupe for Bath and Body Works. But it's not bad. It's good. I like that. It's kind of hard to describe, but it's fruity and it's tropical. I got Berrylicious Sugar Cookie Royale and Banana Cream Pie. This was... Uh, Trish is doing her Sensperational Sundays where she says, hey, tell me what you would blend with this. And she's done blue raspberry jello and she's done banana cream pie. And last week and was warm vanilla sugar. So those were in this past sale from yesterday, the warm vanilla sugar blends. So this one, I've never, I've never had Berrylicious and I know a lot of people love Berrylicious and I think Jenny and Christy have been talking about it quite frequently lately. So I'm like, why haven't I tried Berrylicious? So I grabbed this one here. I get nice berry right off the bat and I love these, I love these bougie bars and I love the trig tarts because, you know, you can pop them around your house. And sometimes if I want to, like I can, I have nine warmers in my home between my upstairs and downstairs. And I can use this in one, you know, one time. So I like these small, these small um, sizes sometimes. So I can really see, do I want to buy it and commit to the larger size? So this is good. I don't really get too much banana cream pie, but I get a creaminess and I get a custardiness almost. The Berrylicious is there. It's nice fruity berries. Yummy. And speaking of um, yummy, one more scoop. Christy talked me into this one. This is Pink Frosted Cake Lumiere. And Lumiere is cream cheese, croissants, and French vanilla heavy heavy bakery yummy it's pink frosted cake but it's much creamier and i don't want to say it's diluted down you know from the, the the strawberry that's in pink frosted cake it's not it's just heavier creaminess and it's 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 good thanks christy for twisting my arm <laughs> to get me to buy that and then i decided to spring for a loaf of strawberry pound cake because I learned during the live that their strawberry pound cake is not it's not just one oil it's a custom made oil that Jen gets made for her because back when strawberry pound cake came on the scene and you know it flew out of stores you couldn't get them you know people went nuts for them she sent away a candle to get duped from her you know whoever she uses for that stuff and came back with this. So I decided to get a loaf of this because I've never had it alone. And if you watch my channel normally, you know, I, I don't like strawberry pound cake by itself because it's not enough for me. It's, it's, it's just too flat for me. I like it blended with things. Sure. It's a fantastic blend, but alone, it's just not enough for me. I will say having smelled this, this is the first time smelling this by itself from, from L3. 
This is fantastic alone. I might not even blend this. I got this to blend with zucchini bread and to blend with other things, you know, because strawberry pound cake is versatile too. This has enough strawberry in it that I really think is missing from a lot of the other strawberry pound cakes, you know, the, the normal, the, the regular plain oil. This is fantastic. So thank you for telling us that. And I'm so glad I was listening at that time. This is fantastic. It's yummy. It's oh, so good. Yeah, I don't need to buy, I'm not buying many loaves anymore in my life. Um, just because, unless it's, unless, and I said this in my last video, unless it's zucchini bread, pink frosted cake, coffee of some sort, or even there's one more that I said I would buy in a larger size. Um, I don't remember what it is. Pink frosted cake, coffee, zucchini bread. There's one more, I can't remember. But, um, I'm not going to buy loaves anymore just because by the time I get through half of a loaf, I'm kind of tired of it and I don't want to, you know, pass on half a loaf or try to sell it or, you know, throw it away. I get bored and I think there's a lot of us out there that might feel the same way. So I'm going to just stick to smaller sizes and use the loaves that I have, of course, but then not bring any more into my collection. So that's my opinion on loaves. That might change, <laughs> who knows? But let's get going with the samples and then this video will be a wrap. So let's see. The first bag. Okay, the Burrow Santa's on Keto. The Burrow is um, cinnamon rolls with extra frosting. I think and that's what the burrow is. And Santa's on Keto. Oh, hell, I can never remember the notes to Santa's on Keto. But it's a heavy vanilla bakery, and it's good. This is cinnamon roll. Heavy bakery cinnamon roll. That's how I can describe that one. I've got to move my leg here. My foot is going asleep. It always does when I sit with my legs crossed. Okay, today is October 3rd. I've had this a thousand times. This is Palo Santo, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Toasted Marshmallow. This is fantastic. I think most people like that scent. Most, not all, most. Fruit Loops, Sugar Cookie, and Cotton Candy Frosting. These, these are fantastic ones. This is just basically Fruit Loops. That cotton candy frosting might come out a little bit on warm. It's such a, it's a sweet, creamy cotton candy concoction, basically is what it is. That is that bag. And then this bag here, let's see what's in this guy. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I got the same. There goes Poppy's bee. We love bees in this house, so that's why I bought her a bee that makes noise. So, <laughs> for another Fruit Loops, what do you know? Sorry, guys, if you can hear that on camera. Um, cider donuts, apple cider donuts, snickerdoodle, waffle cone, and vanilla ice cream. Mmm. This, ooh, that apple cider donut just kind of punches you in the face with this one. I like that. This is good. This will go in my, in my, um, I have a tote of nothing but my samples, which I am working through because I, I melt my samples in my master bathroom. I've said that before in my videos. And finally is a strawberry that broke. I think it's a, a strawberry shape. This is strawberry pound cake. I put a spell on you, which is her secret sweet cinnamon sugar bakery blend. Mmm. I get the I put the spell on you. I have a chunk of I put a spell on you that I'm working on right now on one of my melting totes and it's great. Mixed with strawberry pound cake. It's good. I put a spell on you is a blend that can be mixed just about with anything and it will work out well. So that is my video for my most recent L3 hauls. So thanks for watching, guys. And if you have any questions, you know, shoot a message or post in the group and one of us will help you if we can. Or, you know, ask Jen and Trish, you know, like we, like, you know, like we do to help you guys out. So hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you soon.